Alrighty, quick review of this little gadget here. It's an MP3 player. Um, there's the barcode on the top. 16 gig Bluetooth MP3 player with something, 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 armband, etc., etc. We're going to get right into it here. Oh, it does have a um, uh, 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 pedometer as well, so that's pretty cool. Plays in hi-fi. Probably has a little uh, digital equalizer in there. So it's the GRTDHX. I, I don't think you pronounce that. I think that's just uh, it's an acronym for something. You can come up with your own words for that. Uh, unboxing. Everybody loves an unboxing. Here it is. This is how it's going to look when you get it for the first time. Ooh la la. There it is. Unboxing. And here is the meat of the matter right here. This is the mp3 player itself let's go right to it grtdxh it's a music digital player mp3 player dc 5 volts uh, it has a 500 milliamp hour battery inside model k188 and it's 16 gig version i don't know if there's other versions this is the one i saw so there's two buttons on this side there's a button on this side a sd card slot it does not come with an sd card you need a micro sd card such as this to use with it uh, on the bottom we have a spot for headphones little ear phone jack there's a microphone as well as a or micro USB port so that'll be for software uploads uploading files etc etc uh, there's also a speaker on the back and a looks like a carrying strap of some kind you can maybe put a string through that keep it around your neck or whatever you'd like power button on this side and then it also works as the um, volume controls for the speaker and your headphones I presume as well as it looks like a start stop for the microphone there's also a lock button over here where you can lock um, so you don't actually start touching it uh, I don't it is touch screen but not on here just down here so let's keep that unlocked so that's the unit itself let's go into the box a little bit further and see what else we get removing the plastic piece we are looking at an armband so this is an armband that's going to go around your arm needless to say something like something like this and then your mp3 player is just going to slide right in here like this difficult to do the first time then the mp3 player is going to slide in like that pull this little lid over top like that so it's securely sealed in there it'll stay nice and tight and you can probably still work the keys through this case and see what you need to see what's more there's a small carrying case for your mp3 player a micro usb upload slash firmware upload um, cord for attaching it to a computer. A male male 2.5 mil jack so you could plug that into say your car or another audio player so you could play this into another audio player. A pair of headphones. The user manual which looks fairly complete actually. I'll run through this slowly and you can see it. Feel free to pause this video at any point so you can stop and read this. But that's fairly comprehensive. There's more on the other side. It's entirely in English. So this is an extremely comprehensive user manual. They've really done a good job and put a lot of effort into this. So take your time and read through this. Um, there's going to be a lot of features here that you're going to miss if you don't read the user manual. And there's a brief thank you card for ordering. They encourage you to get in touch with them, reach out on Facebook, etc. And it goes through some quick start stuff, some quick reference stuff. And so there you go. Still photo. So here's everything that comes in the kit. Uh, you get the armband, the user manual, a pair of headphones, a carrying case, a male male 2.5 mil jack, and a USB uh, up link, down link cord. So let's zoom in here and see if we can have a better look at this thing. I'll try to keep it so y'all can see it. Um, you're going to start by turning it on over here with the power button. So you're going to took and hold that in for one, two, maybe three seconds. You get a little welcome screen. Now I'm going to say this is a fairly small screen, but you know what? It does the job nicely. The display is fairly crisp, easy to see. Um, it is not a touch screen. You can see that the little runner is highlighted. So you're going to use the arrow keys to move around throughout the menus. So let's just start right at the top. It's got music. And so you can go through your music, all songs, um, artist, album, genres, playlist, folder navigation, and refresh. I have nothing in here currently. You'll see in a second when I click on OK. Um, no songs found. I haven't uploaded anything yet. So let's go back to the next item along the way. Radio. So when we click on radio, manual tune or auto tune. So if I go into manual tune, it's going to allow me to manually tune to the radio station I want. And hold it down and it'll drift or stop or you can tap it like this now one thing of note this will not receive any radio stations unless 
you have the headphones plugged in because the headphones are the antenna for this. So make sure you've got your headphones plugged in in order to receive radio signal. Moving on, we've got next in line, oh, it's not touch screen mark, the folder option. So this is all of your folders. So you can go in and look at all your folders here. Ebook, music folder, pictures, video, video tool, and record. There's likely nothing in any of these because I haven't done anything with this thing yet. So um, you can also do ebooks. This is a folder option for viewing more of these options, I would think. Next in line is our settings. So let's go into settings, sound settings. Let's go right in there. It's got, it has a bit of an equalizer. So you can do rock, funk, hip hop, jazz, classical, electronica, or custom. So, or you can leave it off. I'm gonna leave it off and see how the sound is with it off. Backing out, there's a sleep timer. So here's where you would set the sleep timer to off or or whatever time you wanted. Display settings. So backlight timer. How long does the backlight timer stay on? 10, 20, 30, or always on. I'll leave it on 20 seconds. These are all the stock settings. Screen saver. Um, none. Digital clock. Screen off or demo mode. So maybe none will save some battery life for me. Go back. Date and time. Here's where you set up your date and time. Date settings and time settings. Slideshow settings. So if you have a bunch of pictures on here, it'll run through slideshows so you can repeat or shuffle um, and set the amount of time per slide in seconds. So uh, can you see that there? Four, five, six, however many seconds you want each slide to stay for. Uh, language. So let's quickly run through the languages because there's a lot of languages in here as you can see. So we're going to stick with English because that's my preference right now. Uh, and information, this will be the device information. So player information, it's the model US, whoop, that was quick, model US 212C software version and support website. Well, let's go back to there for a second. Disk space. So this is the 16 gig version. It's going to tell us how much is available out of that 16 gigs. So currently we have well, that was quick. I said, I did see there that it had, we had 16 gigs available. Um, so music types of files are, that are supported, it runs through all that. There's another place to see that actually, and same for pictures, JPEG, BMP, or GIF. And video, it supports MJPEG 160 by 128. That's a very small video size. And a lot of people have trouble with these things. They try to upload a 1080 video to this. It's not gonna work. It has to be 160 by 128. That is extremely small. I don't know if many videos are that small. You'd have to re-render them down to that size. So let's back out. And then here's where you would format the device. And it's gonna say, are you sure? And I'm gonna say no, because I don't wanna format the device. And then factory resettings, are you sure? Well, I don't wanna do that either, but this is where you'd go back to the factory resettings of the device. That's it for there. Let's move over to Bluetooth. Here's where you could Bluetooth on or off. You can search for devices and see your device list. You could attach this to your phone, for example, and it would play back through your phone, I guess. The next thing is a auto recording or voice recorder. So all you're going to do is click on that. It's gonna tell you to wait while it initializes and we are ready to go. And it is recording. So conceivably, you can hear this back in a second on the audio recording. So there it is. To stop that, we're gonna push, uh, okay. Pauses it, we're gonna go back. It's gonna ask me if I wanna save the recording. In this case, I'm gonna say no. So then you've got a list of recordings, which there are none because I haven't recorded. I just deleted that one. Um, record format, so it's in WAVE or ATC or MP3. Um, MP3 is probably preferable for me. Record settings. So you can change the bit rate. I believe that's a typo. It's supposed to be track AVR mode and then set recording scene. So, oh, this is interesting. So long range, meeting, train, normal. So it has different recording modes for, that's quite interesting. So that'll, that'll have some dampeners, some audio dampeners on them, or it'll turn up the microphone for the long range scene. So let's do a normal scene, keep that there. Noise cancellation, that's what that was. Okay, back to the main menu. Down one, we have our settings here. So in here we have a calendar. It's going to be a very basic calendar. I haven't set the date or year or time or anything, so this is incorrect. Uh, there's a stopwatch. Make that. There's several stopwatches, so you could have several different stopwatches going at the same time. There's an alarm, on off, alarm time, alarm cycle, music or volume, photos. So there's no pictures in here yet, of course. Let's go back in there. And movies. I have no movies loaded. You would have to get a very small sized movie to load here. Ebooks. I haven't loaded any ebooks. The disc is empty. I know that. So you could put an ebook in here to read. And last but not least, it does have a pedometer. So personal info, you would add your step length so it can calculate your distances traveled, etc. Um, let's go back. History.
history, there's not going to be any because I haven't done... Oh, history one. Oh, I did. I did a short walk with this earlier, actually. So I took 40 steps, distance of 32 meters. Now keep in mind that that doesn't know how big my step is, so this probably isn't accurate. Average of 2.21 kilometers per hour. That's pretty good. And so we'll just clear that history right out of there. And we're going to clear all. Okay, there we go. So that's it in a nutshell. I'm going to be using this thing over the next few days and I will include in the write-up comments on the sound quality and any other things I determine along the way that are worthy of a review. So quickly we'll go over some measurements here. Uh, for a width we're looking at about 39 millimeters. For an overall length we're looking at about 93, 92.8. And for a depth about nine and a half millimeters. For a weight in grams, it's coming in at 81 grams. With the armband, 108 grams. So that's quite light if you're going to use this thing for jogging or whatever. So there you have it, our quick review of this little MP3 player. Um, I do like it. I, I was looking for an MP3 player to listen to some music while I walk or run in the ravine here. Uh, as well as to record some conversations, maybe covertly, um, here and there. So this will do that with this little microphone. There is no external microphone plug-in for this, which is somewhat disappointing. I'd like to maybe have that ability, but uh, I know the price would go up if it had that capability. So there you go. Two thumbs up from Family of Four. We like this thing so far, and we'll update this review as we see fit.